correct? Okay, so what is, so the grades are zero, one plus, two plus, three plus. So that question is what's normal? Two plus. So two plus. But what if Gary was one plus on both sides, on both the patellar and Achilles? That could be normal, that's his normal. Well tell me more if he was, you know, two plus, two plus, two plus, and one plus, right? So there'd be a, a, a s asymmetry. Same thing, three plus, three plus, three plus, three plus, that could just be his norm. So we wanna compare the patient themselves. So in terms of setting up, I'm gonna elevate the table a little bit. Certainly for the Achilles, I wanna have some space behind. And I'm just gonna check side to side. We're gonna find the patellar tendon. You wanna put, when you're performing reflexes, you wanna put the tendon on a little bit of stretch. In this sitting position should do that as enough stretch for the patellar tendon, okay? So we're gonna strike it briskly. You saw the response. <coughs> All right. Nice, normal response. I'm gonna check the other side. Symmetrical, two plus. It's not a, it's not a, it's not a this. You've got to be consistent with where we hit, and it's got to be a quick stretch. I might do it once or twice to make sure I hit. If I'm hitting his kneecap, he's not going to like that, and I'm not going to get a reflex. It's got to be a quick stretch to that tendon. Okay, again, quick. So I'm actually going to switch sides for the Achilles. I'm going to have the camera switch sides. Because again, I'm right hand, I, I, I don't want to do, you know, a backhand. I tend to do a forehand, right? It's a stronger movement. And I want to be able to do the Achilles, I need to be able to reach behind it. I don't want to be switching hands because I'm definitely, this is a lot easier than, like I might be able to do it because I've done it for a number of years. But it's easier for me to stick with the same hand so I know I'm getting the same force, the same stretch, so I can get a good read left versus right. So with this, because people tend to rest in a little bit of plantar flexion, so we might have to put the tissue on a little bit of stretch. Okay. You guys saw the response, All right? Check the other side, I slide over. Oops, I missed the tendon that one, I was trying to look at the picture. And I get the same downward response. Okay, plantar flexion is the response. And so I stayed on the same side, same amount of pressure, same position. If for some reason, um, and some people will be like this, if you're a little hypo-reflex or difficulty uh, eliciting a, re a reflex, you can form something called the Gendrasic Maneuver. The most common one is, Gary, just go ahead and take your hands and pull apart there uh, with your hands. So it's a little bit of a, he's, he's, his reflexes are fine, but if somebody is hypo-reflexic, it's just a way to prime the Neuro system with a little bit of intensity. Also, it, somebody staring at their reflex is a little bit harder to elicit. Sometimes, I'll, I, for me personally, if I'm really struggling, if I think I'm I really in trouble getting assessment, I'll have somebody count backwards by threes from a certain number just to distract them if I think they're focused on the reflex. Any questions about the deep tendon reflexes? Um, before we move to the Gendrasic, not Gendrasic, sorry, the Babinski reflex, I do want to defend my uh, dancing skill.